Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about Kubernetes cron job. But before we start the lab session, we need to understand few points which is what is Kubernetes jobs and their use cases. So you can see this is the official website of Kubernetes and as per documentation, cron job is a meant for uh, performing regular scheduled actions such as backup, report, generation and so on. One cron job object is like one line of a cron tab like cron tab file on Unix Linux operating systems. It runs a job periodically on a given schedule which is written in the cron format. You can define these tasks to run at a specified time or repeat indefinitely for example like daily or weekly or yearly. right? So in short we can say cron job refers to any task that is repeated on a schedule. So typically use case of a cron job is automatically perform important tasks on a recurring basics like uh, uh, cleaning disk space, uh, backing up files and directories, generating metrics and reports so and so on. So in this demo what we are going to do we will see how we can work with the Kubernetes cron job. So let's begin the lab session. So I'm back on my Linux VM and let me clean the screen first okay so uh, one second let me set it first okay yeah that's cool so currently you can see i'm working on linux single machine where i have already installed minikube single node kubernetes cluster so let me show you the os release version of this machine and then minikube status so if i go back etc release you can see currently i'm using rel 9.3 and if we talk about minikube status so Let's check the status. Yeah, it is in up and running condition. Before we move into the next, verify the status of cluster also. To check the node availability in the cluster, running the following command kubectl get nodes. So you can see minikube node is in ready condition. And once you have node available in cluster, you are ready to create your first pod. So now we will check the list of the pod in the default namespace. Command is kubectl get pods. So no resource found in the default namespace. Since this is, will be our first pod on cluster, you will not see any pod in the default namespace. So let's move to the first step, which is create cron job file. So to create cron job manifest file, we have two methods. Either copy the demo file from Kubernetes documentation and modify the entries as per you need it. Let me show you the code from where you can get repeat. So scroll down and here you can see this is the code. It's clearly mentioned, right? So you can just copy that one and modify the entry as per you need it. Or second method is that what we can do, we can use imperative command line tool to generate this job file. We know very well kubectl command line is commonly used command line tool to create objects. So kubectl imperative commands require the user to explicitly specify the type of object they wish to create along with the properties they wish to associate with the object being created. So let me go with this command line tool kubectl to make my cron job file. So I'm back on my Linux machine and uh, what I will do, I will run the command mkdir project one, then I'll move to the project one and I run the command kubectl, this is the command, okay? So you can see, let me make it set for this environment, one second. Yeah, that's cool. So here you can see the command is kubectl create cron job, then my job image Ubuntu schedule, I set star slash two star star star, then dry run client of obtain I wanted in the YAML format and I want to execute the date command and the entire output I want to save in cron job dot YAML file, right? So let's press enter, done. So basically this command will create a cron job file named cron job dot yaml where my job name is my job container name is images ubuntu and I want to execute date command inside my container at every day on two minute regular interval right. So I run this command in dry run mode so that I can save the entire output in my cron job dot yaml file later on I will deploy this using kubectl apply command. And if you don't want to save this entire output inside the file, then just remove the hyphen hyphen dry run flag, this one from here and you can run that one. Cool. So my cron file is ready. Let's view inside the container. So I'm back. I try to open my cron tab.yml file and here you can see uh, 
let me let me set it the size first yeah I'm in the end okay so you can see here uh, the object kind is cron job job name is my job container image is Ubuntu and command uh, command is date command whatever the command I want to execute that is date command right which schedule at every date every day two minute regular interval this is the schedule right so uh, schedule format is given the documentation you can grab more information from there let me show you here it is so if I'm going back on my on my uh, official website if I scroll down here you can say the syntax is given here right so the format is first of all minute then hour then day of month then month then day of week and then finally what you want right so for example just like 0013 star 5 um, state that the talks must be started every Friday at midnight as well as on the 30th of each month at midnight right so you can use it this type of syntax one more thing is that uh, if you have seen the restart policy cumulative restart policy so which is currently is on failure while executing job in temporary created pods container can fail due to any number of reason like memory limit exited or any process exists with non-zero code in this case we need to restart pod so that it can start executing its tasks again without failure so we will be use restart policy on failure so if you don't want to container to be restart when we can use another option in our file which is never so we can also use never once we created the above file now it's time to use the file to create cumulative cron job object and we'll see its status if it run for completing tasks successfully or not so i just save and quit from here and move to the next step which is apply the cron job file but before going to apply this kubectl apply command let's get the list of existing pods cron job uh, in the cumulative using kubectl get pods command so no pod select jobs no jobs are running cron job say no cron jobs are running and i can go kubectl get all command also so you can see that there are no pod jobs or cron jobs running on this cluster let's apply this cron file cron job.yml file using kubectl apply command and we'll see what happens we can run the kubectl get all command with wash utility on the terminal and you will see the jobs cron job that has been created and actively process you can monitor so what i will do i will use watch and press enter sorry type real watch kubectl get all and on the other tab here i will run kubectl apply hyphen f cron kubectl apply then what was the file name cron job yeah so kubectl apply hyphen f cron job dot yaml right so now as soon as i apply this cron job let's see what happened i press enter yeah my job created successfully so a new cron job has been created when you create this one right a uh, new cron job and a pod will be created soon with this cron job name that's get created along with this job so it will wait for two minutes right because i have set two minute regular interval so this process may take some time when you do this for the first time since it takes some time to pull your docker image from the container registry so just wait for a couple of two minutes then it will start automatically right so i'm waiting for two minutes so currently you can see one job is ready right so if i go back here and i run kubectl get jobs currently no job but if i go with cron job kubectl get cron job you can see my job successfully ready schedule is at every two minute right so just wait for two minute you can see now you can see the 
job cron job is my job and job started with my job job id and we have a one pod also right so one cron job with one job and one pod successfully created see container created right so we can also use describe command to see the details of the specified cron job including run history so you can see it's completed successfully one by one is done so as soon as two minutes is done automatically second task will be started then after two minutes third will be started then after two minutes fourth will be started so this process will be continuously running on at every two minute regular interval so i can go back here and i can say cube ctl uh, describe describe cron job and job name is my hyphen job so as soon as i press enter sorry it's only described but describes yeah here you can see your status status is successfully completed right so we can go up more information from here using this command kubectl describe cron job my job name right so you can see it is working now so now it's time to see what happened actually in the backend when we run kubectl apply command so in the backend it will download image which are whatever the image is mentioned the job.yml file and which is ubuntu image in my case and then it will try to create a pod uh, this is job first then it try to create a pod inside a job uh, and once pod will be ready then it will try to execute a command which is mentioned the job file which is date command in our case right and once it will be completed all tasks mentioned the job it will make job status completion one two one right so as soon as two minutes is done again new job id will be there inside that job id along with the new pod will be there and you will see the result so this process continues at every two minute regular intervals look at that the second is there second is ready for us right container creating and now it's completed so uh, we can view the log using the following command also using kubectl log pod so i can go with first of all you want to check the kubectl get pods you can see two pods are there so i can go with kubectl uh, logs what log log of this one you can see that i hope date date command output yes and if i go back with this pod you can see the pod the date command output of here also uh, see you can get the result right so this is how this is how you can see the date command output coming from our pod at every two minute regular interval so here at every two minute interval new job created which make a new pod and complete our task which is date command if you want to delete this job very simple we can just simply run kubectl delete command to remove all those object uh, then cron job will be created and job will be deleted and the pod will be deleted right so the command is i'm back here kubectl kubectl delete D-E-L-E-T, delete hyphen F and your file name that is cronjob.yml. So as soon as I press enter, see, everything is gone. Look at that. Everything is gone. So you can see the cron and pod and everything gone. So that's all about this demo. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. And uh, soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing and if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.